At yung kasal, yung marriage, it is an obligation. Obligado yung kasal sa lahat ng Muslim. But kung, may, kung lalaki yung walang kaya buhayin, hindi pwede siya kasal hanggang siya na kaya buhayin. Lahat ng Muslim, obligation ng kasal. Hindi pwede na sabihin na kasal mo Muslim, hindi ako kasal. Hindi pwede, bawal. Dahil yung obligation, utos ng Allah SWT. That's the command of Allah for every Muslim should get married. Now this verse is very beautiful. That O mankind, fear your Lord who created you from one soul. And from that soul, he created his wife. And from them both, created many men and many women. It's a great blessing to have a marriage, a kasal, and the marriage should be in the name of Allah. If the marriage is in the name of Allah, yung kung kasal na sa pangalan ng Allah, may baraka, may love, mahal, and it will be marriage forever. Hindi lang, not only in this world, the marriage, the marriage also in the next life, sa kabilang buhay. Yung kasal sa Islam, hindi lang sa mundo na ito. Sa kabilang buhay din, yung kasal na sa Islam. And the most important thing in the marriage is love. And when a person, a man marrying a woman, for the sake of Allah, for the love of Allah, in the name of Allah, then Allah is the source of all love. Allah is Al-Wadud. Al-Wadud, the loving God. The God who loves or the source of all the love. Lahat ng mahal galing kay Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Siya yung pangalan niya. Siya yung pinakamahal. At yung galing sa kanya lahat ng mahal. So, 100%, sigurado, a, a man is marrying a woman in the name of Allah, for the sake of Allah, then there should be a love for definite because Allah's promise. There's a promise of Allah. And also the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, a person, when he get married, he complete his religion. His religion is complete now. He was half Muslim. Now he become full Muslim. What is the meaning to say? Because the most of the laws of Islam, you cannot implement in your life until you get married. For example, when a person, he is not yet married, he's only a son and he's a brother. But when he get married, he'll become a husband now and he'll become later on the father also. So these are the four major relations for a man. He become a son when he born. When his brothers and sisters born, he become the brother. So he has a two kind of rights between parents and son, and he has another right between brothers and sisters. But he cannot give the right to a wife, and he cannot give right to the children because he has no wife and he has no children. Only two he had. He can be a son and he can be a brother. But he is, cannot be husband, he cannot be a father, unless he gets married. And this will imply to the whole life. But the four major relations for the man, if he's not going to marry yet, then he, don't, he cannot be a husband, he cannot be a father. Same with a girl. When a girl marry, before marrying, she can be a daughter and she can be a sister only. Two relations only, the major relation, the biggest relations in all the relations of the human being. But once she gets married, she immediately become a wife and she will be become a mother. So she is going to complete her religion, the rights, because religion is rights. Rights and obligation. You give the rights and you do the obligation. You take the rights and you do the rights. We have a right to others and others have a rights upon us. That's Islam. And the first rights we have is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What are the rights of Allah? We should worship Him. We should believe in Him. We pray, we fast, we uh, give zakat, the charity. We give the, all the obligations to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the same thing, we have a rights between human to human. The parents have rights to children, the children have rights to the parents, the husband have a right to the wife, wife have a right to the husband, brothers, sisters have rights, uncle, auntie, cousins, all the relatives, neighbors, all the human beings, they have rights to each other, which is to comply, it's Islam.